Hey, what is up, everybody? Damascus the Fox here, and I'm going to talk about this right here. CRKT Ritual, which is a wicked cool knife, but first things first, let's get some specs out of the way. This knife is 5.50 inch, inches on the handle length, and it has a 4.50 blade length with a 9.50 overall length. The handle is made out of micarta, white micarta, and it is very smooth, not very textured, but you can kind of feel a little bit of the grittiness in there. It's actually, it feels really good. It has stainless steel bolsters with stainless steel liners. The blade, I mean, just look at that blade. Hot damn. It has a 4.75 inch cutting edge with a flat grind um, hold on it has a flat grind with a satin finish sorry about that and yeah I mean just look at that it's a wicked ass blade it is also spring assisted as you saw right there boom be very careful when <laughs> deploying this blade it this very acute trailing point right here comes up to a very pointy tip and if anything is in the way it will thwack it really good yeah i deployed it a little too close to the table and that was very upsetting thought i broke my tip did not all good it is only a tip up carry for right hand users uh, it has no reversible pocket clip anywhere else. You can also use the thumb studs. And thumb studs are placed pretty good where you have the majority of your cutting edge not obstructed by the thumb studs, so that's really good. And the spring assist feels really nice. Doesn't feel wonky or like I'm going to break it. Closes very smooth, one-handed, boom. Not too much effort. Yeah. So, and, and almost forgot, the weight is 5.50 ounces. So, not light, but not heavy. Somewhere in between, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, I'll give you a close-up of this blade. Uh, autofocus. Start working for me. Yeah. Very, very nice. The handle feels really good in hand, but these very, I'll call them generous finger troils, uh, kind of make your hand want to go here. So it is kind of tailored towards a certain grip. So kind of like right here, nice jimping on the spine. So it kind of wants you to hold it like this. If you try to hold, choke up, this little point right here tends to get uncomfortable on this finger. So yeah, it digs right in there. So it kind of wants you to hold it more back here in a rifle grip. So that might be not for some people, but otherwise pretty comfortable. Yeah. Now let's give it a little test right here. I'll do a little size comparison. Here you go. Look at that. Uh, Cold Steel Recon 1, Blades Q exclusive, with the Desert Warrior color. So, boom. Size comparison, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's bigger, <laughs> a little, little bit longer than the Recon, which is kind of funny. But, yeah. Thickness. Not too thick. Pretty good. Blade thickness is right around there. Not too thick of a blade, but not too skinny either. Now let's test out this spring assist right here. The CRKT version of the spring spring assist is actually pretty good. It feels very smooth on closing, and it just kind of wants to sit itself in there. So you can do it with one hand, and it wants to sit itself in there. Not too much effort to go in, but it comes out with authority. 
and you don't f you don't feel that tension bar in there just like shifting where it feels like it's going to break like some knives I've handled. Let's uh, compare it to here. This is the Cold Steel Brawler. <laughs> Cold Steel. Kershaw Brawler. <laughs> um, this one, Spring Assist, actually feels really good. I had to tune it up a bit after use because, well, I, t uh, I took it apart, put it together, then it was hugging the side right here, and it would deploy kind of sad, if for, for lack of a better word. But now it deploys very smoothly, and it comes down like this right there. That's its tension point right there. And yeah, a little bit more effort than the CRKT torsion bar, but really marginal. Not really that big of a deal. Here is a Gerber Spring Assist. I forgot the name on this guy, but this one only uses thumb studs. Who's the name on you? I forgot your name. I need to go look that up again. But feels really good. Now this one does not have, you know, like a line or anything. It actually uses the lock, if you can see that, right there. You push up on the lock and it goes down. This one requires, a, I would say, it has a little bit of a twanginess to the torsion right there. Kind of hear it. Still cool. Um, Matco Tool. This one, Spring Assist, is weak. I bring it up but it requires absolutely no effort to close. So this one requires a little bit of a wrist. Yeah. And then we got Bear Edge. Big boy. Open that up, thumb studs only. Boom, comes out with authority. Liner lock, tension point right there. And this one, Requires effort, yeah. And then this guy right here. This is a Frost Cutlery Boxer. Comes open pretty good. Requires effort on the lock. And pretty much no effort to close it. But yeah, this knife is kind of has a weak deployment. And uh, the bar, the... Liner lock is pretty tough, and sometimes it tends not to lock up. So, yeah. And last but not least, I got the CRKT Squid. So, put them up against the, uh, the same company. But this one's Spring Assisted Squid. And comes out nice. Tension point right there. And it closes very smoothly. I really like that. Oh, sorry, almost forgot this guy. This is the Schrade S C H A 5 B S. <laughs> BS. This one comes out fairly nice and tension point right there. Now this one requires a little bit more effort, I would say, on the clothing. <laughs> clothing. Closing. But otherwise, pretty good. Don't have to put too much effort in to get it to that point. But once you do, it tends to want to, you know, just kind of like snap in. This one also has a lock. And the funny part is, if you use the thumb stud, the flipper tab stays up like a dorsal fin. So you got to push that down. So it's kind of funny, but kind of interesting too. So that's how kind of like the spring assist compares up to those companies. Um, I definitely like CRKT's spring assist, very smooth, very nice, and it's no different on this nice knife. So yeah, and now let's do a sharpness. The steel on this dude is 12C27, which I had no idea existed because nobody talks about it. Um, so I looked it up, read some stuff about it. They said it's a very well-rounded steel made specifically for blades which is pretty cool, it has decent corrosion resistance, tough, uh, good toughness, uh, very good edge retention, and they also said very easy to sharpen, and it can hone a razor sharp edge very easily. So let's test that out right here on this poor little piece of paper that is about to die.
So if that doesn't say sharp, nothing does. That is very satisfying. I've had knives that couldn't even do that out of the box. I, I never really used this knife, barely used this knife for anything. Uh, so yeah, it, this is sharpness right out of the box. And uh, that is very satisfying, very smooth. I could do this all day. And you probably can watch this all day because, yeah, that is super fun. This trailing point is fantastic to make cuts like that. And you know what? Let's do a little fun thing. Let's see. This thing comes out, you know, with a spike. So let's just thwack this paper with that. Uh, that was freaking hilarious. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, very sharp, right out of the box. Easy to sharpen. So I'm actually pretty satisfied with that steel so far. And yeah. So overall, very cool knife. May not be for some some people because it is a very crazy design. It is a Persian style, just rhino horn. So that's pretty cool. But some people like smaller knives and more conventional designs which I kind of like crazy designs, but that's the greatest things about knives. There's one for everybody and designs galore just to have what you want. Just have fun with it, you know? Knives are art and it's just so much fun collecting them. So, yeah. Well, I think that wraps this up and this was not a review. This was just a look at this CRKT Ritual. And I hope you found this video informative, fun, and I hope you stick around and watch some more of my content uh, coming out in the future. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Goodbye.